because I am warm right now, <laughs> I must admit, this colour really does do the trick, it really does. Yeah, it really does do the trick then. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. On my channel, I do lots and lots of refashioning of old or even new clothing. There's also sewing techniques to help you with your projects. I also do a segment where I show you garments I have designed, pattern drafted, and also sewn. So if you are into that sort of thing, consider subscribing and let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you how to style the accessories. The accessories that I am, I am going to show you are accessories that I have made. I don't like working with fur in particularly, so I know I'll treasure these items for a very, very long time. I should do a video about how to work with fur. Yeah, fur can be very, very messy, a bit like sequins. Yeah, I don't like working with sequins either. Um, but yeah, it's a bit like working with sequins. You have to help yourself. Health and safety is big. It's a big thing you need to think about when you're working with fur or even sequins. We're talking about fur in this video. So, like I said, uh, the items that I'll be showing you how to style um, are pieces that I have made. So let's get started. So as you can see, I'm in navy blue. So I'm going to do this monochromatic look, which is which is me as well as asymmetrical garments um, but yeah this is um, a top that I've also made it's a root collar neck and I've got these openings here these little slit openings which I think is so oh, so sexy um, three quarter length sleeves and the reason I have three quarter length sleeve is because there wasn't enough fabric so you just got to do what you got to do haven't you really just work with it um, I've had it I've, I've had it a while it's had the, uh, the good amount of wear um, but no, I should make some more actually. And I tinted it with silver jewellery, and that's because there's a bit of sparkle that's in the um, fur that I just wanted to pick up in my jewellery. So I just kind of kept it um, very simple. And the pants is something I've, I've also designed, pattern drafted, and also so And they're just straight leg. They're kind of like a grey blue, so not too blue. I could have gone for. A total blue but I decided no I like the shape of these ones I really do and I'm wearing blue patent shoes as well pointy shoes so let's start with the first one shall we um let's see I'm going to go for this so here is my collar warmer I like to call it let's put it around my shoulders like so so you can actually wear it just like that which is so nice and it will stay. I want it like this, yeah. So it's just, it's. I think it's the cutest piece of all. I'm, of all the pieces that I'm actually going to show you. I just love it. I really do. I also went with um, just a blue uh, polo neck that I haven't um, made. Um, but no, it's 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 gorgeous. But I've also put a little button on there, a little shank button. It's a black button because there's black in this as well, in the fur. And I've done like a thread loop as well, so you can just about see it. There we go. Looks gorgeous. And the next item is going to be, let me see, gloves. Gloves. Now, these gloves came with this little bobble little little pom-pom I should say which is almost as close as to the fur that is um, my accessories are made are made of and I added this to the glove so I'll put that on next I'll probably take them off again because I'm putting on a jacket I just want to show you what you could do with fur now to accessorize it so you know from anywhere would I be comfortable just wearing this Yes, with my clutch bag. And there's another pom pom that's on there. I took this idea from the gloves, really. So I've got a little pom pom on there, which I can either sport it this way with it to be shown, 
or go towards the back. Yeah. So let's say for example I've taken off my coat or jacket, then you know you could wear it just like this. All the items. It's really cold in England right now. <laughs> really cold. Um, so the next item I'm actually going to show you is a blue velvet jacket. Now I have made this jacket even though I have a couple of um, velvet jackets that I have made, which I'll show, I'll show you at some, at, at some stage. And um, they're just black with jackets, soft jackets, but this one's more structured. It's going to be blue. Let me show you a bit closer up. I'm thinking about changing the sleeves on these and the main reason is, let me just take my gloves off, is because they are short sleeves but I just love the shape of the jacket and it fits me well. Um, but sometimes it really gets me when jackets are really small in the sleeve, in the length of the sleeve. It's just so irritating isn't it for those of you who have long arms <laughs> and sometimes you know I use tricks as bangles in order to kind of distract from the fact that they are quite short. But these gloves are quite good actually because they do add the extra length to the to the outfit and the jacket as you can see. Get away with wearing, yeah, that's a cord. Yeah, this one on. There we go. I don't like the buttons, the buttons do this no justice whatsoever. That, that, excuse me, I, I am looking in the mirror to make sure that you know things, it, everything's aligned properly so that I am. You can see the true effect. And if you want it to be even warmer, because I am warm right now, <laughs> I must admit, this colour really does do the trick, it really does. Yeah, it really does do the trick. Then, I've also made this long scarf. Now, I wear it a couple of ways. Actually, I wear it more than a couple of ways. I could do it that way. That like that. Or that way and then bring it round. Like so, so you feel more snuggly. like this because it shows I can show off my colour underneath so it adds another dimension which is quite exciting and it's kind of a more not a classic look and we just do the asymmetrical thing there we go yes and a little bit of drama and then my bag which I tend to wear it this way because I like I like playing around with this pom pom. And also, I'm quite proud of myself really with this. And um, when I was working with the fur, is I used everything, every inch of the fur, apart from all the bits that come off the fur when you're working with it, including what was left over from the fur bits, is in here. It's in here. So, yeah, I used everything. So, yes, this is how I would sport or how I would wear my fur accessories. So hopefully I've given you some um, advice and help in order to think about how you would wear fur and also to personalise it and make it your own. I think what I've done with personalising it for me is adding this fur collar. The fur! Hey, fur collar. Yeah, like I said, I think this piece is, yeah, I just love it. I need to wear with a lot more things actually. So it's really nice, isn't it? Don't you think? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> anyway.
anyway thank you for watching i hope this video has proven to be helpful about how to accessorize your fur items so um if you've got any ideas for how you wear your fur accessories then please let me know in the comments and i will see you next time thank you for watching Thank you.